Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. How y'all doing tonight? I have a ton of stuff from Dollar Tree to um, show you guys. I got some of it here in a haul and I hopefully will get another haul up in a day or so. Maybe tomorrow, fingers crossed, because this stuff just needs to get put away. And because I, I went to two Dollar Trees while I was in Connecticut. Um... I went several times before I left and uh, I got some really awesome things and I want to show you guys and I got some food stuff I want to put away. So let's get started. Um, first thing I want to say is I got a bunch of friend mail and I appreciate everybody who sent me things, but Caroline will be here this weekend. So I'm going to wait to do a friend mail video on this weekend, but I did get a bunch of cards envelopes so I got all of these from Bridget um, Bullock from Bridget Bullock all of these envelopes every one of these envelopes is from her and she sent a giveaway card in every single one and she also sent me stickers in every one so I got all of these stickers that she sent me. Thank you so much, Bridget. She sent a bunch of stickers, um, some princesses and Americana and Clifford the dog. And oh my goodness, all kinds of stickers, dogs. Thank you so much, Bridget. And uh, Bridget's really ramp ramping up her chances to win something in the giveaway. She's got 22 entries here, guys. 22. I mean, it only takes one to win, but she really wants to win. And she sent me, I don't know, five or six already before. So if you want to win giveaway prizes, you got to send in those cards. Um, I also got a card from Betty Schumacher. Um, she sent me a thank you card. She won one of my giveaways. She sent this card with this really cute sticker inside. Isn't that adorable? And uh, she said, hi, I want to thank you for my gift. I watch you all the time. I don't win too often, but this really surprised me. Thank you, Betty. And Betty sent another giveaway card in. So she's trying to win again. So thank you, Betty. And I got a postcard from Candace Salisbury. From Davenport, Iowa, I got your card. And uh, this is bigger than the 5 by 7 or 3 by 5 rather. So I will write one out on a 3 by 5 card. But thank you so much for the postcard. And she put a little flamingo sticker on there for me. And she said, I sweat glitter. <laughs> All right, thank you, Candice. You're in the giveaway. And then I got an envelope from Kimberly White. And she sent me a card and she said, hello, hello there. Thank you for putting a little bit of a smile on my face due to losing my oldest son, Brandon and my dad in 2020 and my health is not good. I'm so sorry to hear that Kimberly. Um, 2020 was bad for a lot of people and I'm really sorry that you lost both your son and your dad. Um, and she sent me this beautiful picture of Christ that I really love. Thank you so much. And I'm happy that I can do my little bit to help people to put a smile on their face. And you know what, Kimberly? I'm going to put your name in the giveaway as well. Um, good luck to you. And I will keep you in my prayers. Hoping your health gets better and, you know... Um, you know, for your loss. <clears throat> All right, guys. Um, really cool stuff I got. Um, where do I start? I'll start with food. Um, I found these Maxwell House iced coffees. I got these for my son because <clears throat> he drinks coffee, loves iced coffee. Maxwell House, good to the last drop. That's their slogan. Uh, this is a 11 ounce can it's iced coffee with cream and sugar. He said it was really good. And it's made with 100% Arabica beans. So I got, I'm showing you two. 
I bought four originally and then I bought them another four. Um, but I just kept these two out to show you guys, you know, a can of coffee. How cool is that, right? He loves, you know, that iced coffee. He likes hot coffee, whatever. I don't drink any of it. I also found this Simply Campbell's Simply Delicious Chicken Noodle Soup. This giant can of soup. It's a 18.6 ounce can. So that is awesome. I don't know what makes this different than regular Campbell's soup. Uh, I thought maybe it was like, I don't know, lower sodium or although it has six, uh, 680 milligrams of sodium. But I don't know why it's simply Campbell's. So I don't know. It looked good. Looks like it has nice big noodles in it. So I grabbed a couple of these. Gave a couple to my son and I kept two for myself. I also found these Cheetos Mac and Cheese. This one is the Bold and Cheesy. Um, they also have um, a jalapeno one and a fiery hot one. I said, no, no, no. The kids will eat, you know, regular mac and cheese. And sometimes I eat it with them as well. But Cheetos brand, yes, ma'am. Thank you. And these are good until December 18th of 21. They are a 5.9 ounce box. And yeah, Cheetos brand uh, macaroni and cheese. So I got those. I also found these um, fiber bars. Well, to be, to be honest, I almost didn't buy them because I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. When Fiber One first came out with their bars, I was doing, um, I think I was doing Weight Watchers at that time, and I bought these fiber bars. Well, I found out that I farted a lot when I ate these bars. And uh, so I stopped eating them. But for some reason, I thought, well, why not? I'll try it again. So who knows what's going to happen when I eat these. I'm going to try eating them at home before I go out anywhere and eat these. Or eat these and go out anywhere. But uh, yeah. Um, these are Sunbest Fiber Boost Chocolate. 90 calories. Naturally flavored chocolate brownie bar. And they're high in fiber. Uh, does it say six grams of fiber and you get three bars? I believe that's what that says. It says three dash zero. No. Yeah. Three dash zero point eight five ounce bar. Let's just see how big they are. Doesn't, doesn't seem like they're very big. I don't know why you only get three. So yeah, they're, they're teeny tiny little. I'm not going to open it up because I'm not going to eat it right now. I'm going to bed soon. But they're only this big. They're like a little square. So, I got two boxes of those. We'll see how they work out this time around. And uh, let's see when these are good till. You, you're probably like, don't even look, Kath, because you can never find it. These are good until May 30th of 2022. So, good long expiration date on these I got the chocolate and then they had a lemon flavor which I didn't get they also have a yogurt and honey biscuit which is uh with five whole grains biscuits with honey and Greek style yogurt I found these first and then I saw the other things and I was like oh there's those fiber bars um so this isn't really a fiber bar I guess no, it's more or less just a yogurt and honey biscuit with grains. I guess it's fiber. doesn't say on the front how many things of fiber it has, so I don't know. These might be a little safer. Um, and these are good until June 30th of 2022. These look really yummy, though. Look at those. They look really good. <clears throat> I also got a bottle of this caffeine water. Okay, I, I thought the bottle was really cool and I passed it up the first time I saw it and then I was like, you know what, why not try it? It's caffeinated water. 120 uh, milligrams of caffeine per bottle. 
So that's not really a lot. Zero sugar, zero calories, GMO free and gluten free. And I had intended to put this in the refrigerator and try it because I'm sure it's better cold. But you know what? I'm going to give it a try. You guys, you're making me do it. I hope it doesn't taste weird. I do have a glass of soda here that I can sip if it's gross. So, cheers. Um... It does have a taste, almost like a lemony taste to it, but it's very light. It's not gross like some flavored water. I hate flavored water. I told you that before. Um, yeah, a little bit of, yeah, almost lemony taste, but that's it. Not bad. I bet it's even better cold. So this is a 33.8 ounce bottle and it's full of caffeine. So be careful if you're drinking this. Don't give it to kids. Um, I also found this uh, Kashi cereal. Heart to heart oat cereal. Organic honey toasted. In these little individual cereal bowls. Which will be great to take to work. Um, I picked up two of them. I, was, I didn't see anybody haul these before when I found these. So I was like, ooh, wow, something new. I found something somebody didn't have before. So, Kashi is supposed to be good for you. It's got 22 grams of whole grains and 5 grams of fiber. It's uh, USDA organic and non-GMO verified. So, I am I know these go for more than a dollar. Brand name cereal in these little things. Yeah. Alright, is that the end of my food? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Talking about fiber and eating good, I found these boxes of Chips Ahoy. These are much bigger than, I've never seen the Chips Ahoy boxes before. Um, real chocolate chip, uh, does it say how many cookies you get? All right, the serving size is three cookies and there's about five servings. So you get like 15 cookies. Yeah, that's good. I could do that. So I picked up two of those. To have for me when I need a snack at night before I go to bed. Or the girls are here and they need a snack. Apparently they get a snack at home before they go to bed. I don't know that that's a good idea to give them a snack before they go to bed. but So they get a snack here. Because that's what they do at home. So it is what it is. And then I found these Oreos in the box as well. And these are uh, three cookies and you get... Four and a half servings. Um, well, me, I bought these and um, I took one with me to Connecticut and me and my sister polished off a box sitting watching. What were we watching? Oh, we were watching Second Act with Jennifer Lopez. So we polished off a box of those. Easy peasy. Had my little glass of milk. Duncan eaten. Duncan eaten. She's like, I don't need milk with mine. I'm like, what? How can you eat Oreos without milk? Ugh. All right. So anyway, um, I found this. This was by the registers. There was a case of 12 of them. And I was like, ooh, what are these? So I checked it out. And it's this stuff called Dream Water. It's good sleep fast. And I was like, hmm, is this something that, you know, is this like, I get nervous about buying um, stuff like medicine and stuff from Dollar Tree. Like if I, like not so much uh, like Tylenol and, um, you know, Advil and like the generic brand of that stuff. But when it comes to medicine-y type stuff, I get a little, I don't know, crazy about that. So I looked up while I'm standing there and this dream water, it's supposed to help you sleep at night. It says with sleep stat natural blend, your complete sleep solution. And it's in the flavor snoozeberry and it's a two and a half ounce container. So I looked it up on my phone just for the heck of it. And the, the package of 12 sells at Walmart for $26.99. 
So I scooped the whole thing up. I took, bought all 12, and I just have three of them here to show you. Um, I took one one night. I drank like half of it because I, I really have trouble sleeping. Because what happens is, you know, I get in bed. I'm really tired, and then I get in bed and start thinking about this, that, and the other thing. And then I'm like, stop thinking about that. You can't think about that. And then I start thinking about something else. And then the next thing you know, it's two hours later and it's one o'clock in the morning and I got to get up at one at 630. And then I'm mad at myself for still being up. So I got that stuff to try to, you know, on those nights when I my mind starts running wild, I can just get up and it says to take it a half hour before you go to bed. But what I usually do is I, I take it when I can't after like an hour of I, myself not being able to get to sleep, which is really probably not what you're supposed to do. But then I don't want to get addicted to it either. So I don't know. I just do what I do and, you know, you do what you do. All right. So I also found this Airwick Fresh New Day Magnolia and Cherry Blossom. Uh, that's a new spray. Uh, I don't know whether it's a new spray or a new package, but they got me with the package. It also came in a blue package, which was like fresh water or something. And then there was a purple one that was lavender and something. I took the blue one and the purple one to work to keep in the ladies room. Because, you know, ladies do their business too. Have you seen that commercial uh, about ladies farting? Um, yeah. So anyway... I brought two of them to work, and I kept this one here for me. You know, I don't know what's with me talking about this delicate stuff, but there I am. All right, I got some school supplies. You know, I told you, addicted, addicted to the school supplies. So I bought this, um, what's the brand? Lightmark Poster Marker. Picked one of these up. I just love the color. There was a bunch of colors. This is a chisel tip. Well, it says chisel. Oh, one side is a chisel tip and one side is a bullet tip. All right, so let's, let's just check it out. Let's just check it out. So it's got two ends and the blue end is the chisel tip. If you can see that. And then the black end so it's two colors the black end is the bullet tip so that's pretty cool you get two markers and it's poster marker and it's washable ink which i like then for myself that was for the kids you know these are for me and they are the sharpie ultra fine permanent markers and I bought them in every color that they had. Purple, pink, turquoise, green, and I mean yellow, and then like this greenish blue color. So I grabbed all colors. These are for me. Sharpie brand name markers for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Can you stand it? So yeah, I got these. I like these Sharpie fine points. Um, when I was running for office two years ago, um, I, you, I bought the black ones and I just loved the way they wrote. And uh, so I really am happy about getting a bunch of different colors. Then I bought some classic color markers, washable markers, five pack. I bought a bunch of the school stuff for whatever kid needs them for school. So I got that for school. I picked up uh, two packs of these Ticonderoga erasers. You get three of the big ones and does it say how many? Well, you get it's a 15 count. So you get three of the big ones and you get 12 of the multicolor on the pencil ones. I like the on the pencil ones a lot. I like to use those. And world's best eraser. So I picked up two of those. And then I got a couple of pencil cases. I got these two pencil cases. This one in the like bright neon yellow and a pink one. They are um, canvas. 
and they are by Inkology and they have a zipper and then the inside is plastic lined and they have the holes so you can put them in a binder. So I picked up two of those. These were the only two colors they had. And this Inkology is not a uh, Dollar Tree product. It's from Boca Raton, Florida. Made in China though. Then, thrill of thrills, I found some more of these. I absolutely love these. I found two of them, God, a year or so more ago. And what they are is they have a little snap front where you can put stuff in. And they have this zipper, sliding zipper top. And you got this bigger part too, and the bottom expands. I love these. I keep all my Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree receipts in them uh, right now, but you can keep tax receipts in here. You can use your use it for couponing when you go to the store. Put the ones that you know you're going to use in the front little pocket, and the rest of them in the back. But they had it in pink neon green and blue and i was super 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 excited i have been hunting for these since i found them last time and yippee they're back so hopefully you know if if i see another one or more i might grab one or two more love 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 these highly recommend them really great so i got those and then I had all of this stuff in these really, I love this basket. I love this weave. It's been out before in Dollar Tree, but never this color. I love this color. It's um salmon. It's a salmon color. And it's the basket with the two handles. And I love these baskets. I think they're so classy looking. I mean, how nice is that? You can use it for, you know, gift baskets. You can use it to keep little things in. Um, you know, I had all of my stuff in here from the, you know, for the school stuff. You know, just, there's so many things you can do with these, you know. Here you go. Do, do, do. You can make a little school basket for your grandkids or your kids or something. Very nice. Uh, I also got this 10 pocket organizer. I got this for myself for work. Um, it has a front pocket where you can put, you know, if you were going to do a presentation or something. And then when you open it up, there there's a pocket here. And then there is one, two, three, four double-sided little pockets put stuff in and then there's a pocket on the back as well and these are from iScholar of New York yeah and this is uh made in in Canada um but it is the company oh this is Greenbrier huh it says Greenbrier International hmm but then it says iScholar which I never I didn't know that that was a Dollar Tree brand but really, really cool. I think it's pretty cool how the um, the uh, spiral here is not in the middle. I don't know why they have it like that, but I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a cool idea that the spiral doesn't go all the way down. But I got that. I only saw one. And I was like, let me have that. I did see it in one other store, and I was like, I don't need that. And then I looked at it some more, and I was like, yeah. Four tabbed dual pocket dividers, customizable cover, moisture resi resistant, and durable poly construction. And it's 11.7 by 10.6. So it will hold your eight and a half by 11 pages. So got that. Having that to work. Uh, I got this giant Avery glue stick. I don't know why I didn't get more than one, but I only got one. Avery, brand name. They make labels. 
uh, washable, acid-free, non-toxic, and this is a 1.27 ounce container of glue. Kids always need glue sticks for school. Where'd that bucket go? There it is. I bought these Westcott scissors, and I don't know if you can see them, but this handle is blue glitter. Ooh. And I have scissors everywhere in my house, but in the bathroom. I have um, little teeny tiny scissors, and then I have um, your nail clippers, but I was in there one day trying to cut something, and I was like, why don't I have a pair of scissors in here? So I got these. They are medium. Apparently they come in heavy, medium, and light. And these are medium. And they're 7 inches. And these are going in my bathroom. So that's ready to go somewhere as well. All right. Then I found a few stickers. I found these really cool metallic stickers. They are puffy. And they are by Jot. You get 14 of them. And then I got uh, fruit. A bunch of different fruit. I got um, this one that says Sweetie. And it's got a unicorn, a lipstick, an emoji, love. Got that one. There were a couple I didn't get. Um, they just weren't my speed. And then this one's got emojis. I thought, you know, which ones would I use? Excuse me, which ones would I use? I'm not going to buy them just because to buy them. So there, there are more than this three, but I only bought three of the set. <coughs> All right, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Then I bought these weekly planners. I thought they were really cute and... I already got one for myself, a different one, but I thought, you know what? These would be great for giveaway. This one looks like this. It's got coffee cups and um, cactus and succulent on it, and it's got the days of the week, and you can put your 40 sheets, so that'll last you 40 weeks, almost of the year. And then I got this one, which I thought was cute too. So these are going in a giveaway. Giveaways are coming up. I'm going to throw that in the giveaway pile. I found this steno book, which I really like steno books because the spiral's on the top. thought this was really pretty. Happiness is homemade. And it's purple. And it's lined. I like to write. I like to write. You know, I'm talking on the phone to people like, just write words down and I doodle and so I go through a lot of paper and this is 80 sheets get 80 sheets in this so that's also going to work where'd that other thing go yeah work work pile this notebook I thought was just really really pretty it's by Jot it's got 60 sheets and isn't that gorgeous I just love that it's the hardback it's got the elastic on it to hold it closed and it is lined paper 60 sheets I think I said that but I just thought this was just so pretty I love the black background makes it look very classy so I like that and then I got this that just says notes all over it notes 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 and this is a soft cover. This is Crown Jewels. And hmm, I always say, no, it doesn't say how many sheets. But then I look and then it says, and then it does. Crown Jewels is women owned, which I really like. It's just got this little thing that says notes on the top. You can see that. And it's lined. I thought that was cute. Yeah, I like that. That's mine. And then I got, I got this for myself, but I'll probably end up giving it to one of the girls or if they need it, um, just because it's so stinking cute. Look at these pandas with a um, parachute. And it's a, uh, what do you call it? 
composition book. It's the composition book. That's what the younger kids usually use. And this is by Crown Jewels as well. But I just couldn't stand how stinking cute those pandas with parachutes. And I said, you know what? If the kids don't need it, I'll write in it. I like it. Then I got these notebooks for uh, the girls, Caroline and uh, Madeline. I don't know um, by which one I'm going to give to who, but this one says, oh, so smushy, best friends ever. They're just so cute. One subject. Oh, these are college rule. I didn't realize that. Didn't realize that. Well... I don't know what I'll do with them now because they probably have to have wide rule. There's 70 sheets and these are by Inkology as well. So I got this one. I like the black coated um, spiral on these as well. Uh, I got this one, Smushy Squad. There's a set of four of them. They're just blank on the back. I got 100% Smushy. They're just too stinking cute, aren't they? Maybe I'll keep them for me. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm addicted to notebooks. What can I say? And this one is also Smushy Squad. So there's four different ones. Four different ones. Ah. And I got them all. And these I've been looking for, looking, looking, looking for all over. I saw somebody haul them a long time ago, and I was like, I'm, we're not going to get them. We're not going to get them. And where was I? I think this is from Saratoga. Some of it. Some of it's from Saratoga. I know I found these in Saratoga. These are NBA notebooks. LeBron James, and they are NBA affiliated or authorized or whatever. Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron James. And these are 70 sheets, and these are wide rule. I'm going to give these to uh, Jordan. I got Dwayne Wade. I got... Allen Iverson. I only found three of them. I, there, I'm sure there's a fourth, but I don't know who it is. These were the only three they had. Then I got, I don't know how this ended up with the notebooks, but I picked up this Disney puzzle because it's so cute. It's got um, Tigger and Piglet and Thumper and Dumbo and Lion King, Mickey and Minnie, Bambi. Um, this is from Lion King too. Uh, I forget what his name is. Um, Winnie the Pooh and Donald Duck. I didn't know Winnie the Pooh was Disney. I don't know why I didn't know that. But anyway, it's got, it says four plus and it's got all of these really cute characters on it. And I love doing puzzles. The kitty puzzles. I like doing them with the kids. I like doing them with the kids. I actually brought something to drink with me this time. And I'm not going to start coughing, right? Because I have something to drink. Picked up another one of these phone holders. I got this one for Madeline. I gave the other one to Caroline, and they were just too stinking cute. Madeline's got a little phone. I don't know that it actually makes phone calls, um, but she can watch videos and stuff on it. And I did, um, I did check it out. It does hold the phone up, so I thought that was really cute. And even if they don't want to use it as a phone holder, they like um, unicorns, so they can do whatever they want with it. I just thought he was too stinking cute. So that's got to go in Madeline's bag. Madeline and Jordan are coming over Friday night. And I'm so excited. With their mom and dad. They're going to put together my new coffee table. Um, but yes, I'm really excited that they're coming for a visit. They're always so busy. And, you know, um, both Madeline and Jordan are going to be playing football this year. Um, so 
they'll just be so busy on weekends once they're back to school and so really excited to see them before the end of summer excited they both have bags Jordan's bag and Madeline's bag and I don't even know what's in it because I've been buying stuff for them for so long since I saw them last and they'll be excited and they get to shop in grandma's store downstairs so that really makes them happy these I found I hadn't seen before these little pails they don't have anything on them they're just a plain pail but you could do so many things with these I picked up two of these these I found in Saratoga as well um, no, I don't have my ruler again, but they're really cute. Let's see if we can find something that would, hmm, okay, here's a box of crayons. They're about the size of a box of crayons, so that just goes to show you how tall they are, but really cute. I mean, you could do all kinds of things with these. You could paint them, you could put uh, stickers on them. You do Mod Podge, you know. You all guys are so talented. I'm just like, whatever. Speaking of talented, my friend Marilyn Cassidy sent me this junk journal a while ago. Um, and I'm supposed to use it for my trip to Florida. Because here we are, me and Connie, in our little car, going, on, going to Florida. And she asked me if I found the other surprise picture of me in here. Wait, wait till you guys see this picture. I cracked up when I found it. Because she did put one picture of me, which I spotted the first time I looked at it. I've been meaning to show this because she asked me if I found the other picture a while ago. Let me see. Let me find the other picture. I'm not trying to kill too much time here, guys, but... Uh, do to do, do. Where's the other picture of me? Not the one I want to show you guys, but the other one. Oh, she put this little picture of me with the flamingos in it, right? So she says, there's another picture of you. Did you find it? So I'm looking through it. I'm looking through all the little doodads she put in it. And then I pulled this little tag out right here. And there I am. Can you see me right there in my bathing suit? I wish I looked like that. You wouldn't catch me in a two-piece if uh, I had all the money in the world. But very, very funny, Marilyn. I thought that was too funny. I'm like, oh my God, there it is. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, Connie and I are... Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Connie and I are starting to get ready for our trip. Little nervous about going down to Florida because I don't know, they're out of control down there with this coronavirus, but we're going. We've been twice we had to cancel this trip and uh you know, we're going. We're gonna be very safe and we're going. I found a bunch of new ribbon. I'm gonna sneeze again, just forewarn you. It's, I can feel it coming. <coughs> uh, I found this pretty yellow ribbon. I'm trying to get the glare off it. There we go. With the flowers on it. I thought that was really pretty. And then I found this yellow ribbon. Uh, let's see. This one's smaller. What is this? This is 5 8 inches. Uh, same. How can it be the same? That's weird. Just the, just the, um, I don't know. But this is 5 eighth inches, and it's 108 inches long. And this is the container. And then I found this other yellow one that says it's 5 eighth inches long and 101 inches. And look, look how they're on different size spools. How can they be the same? Well, they can because they just wrap this one tighter. But I just thought... Oh my God, look at these daisies on the yellow. So pretty. So I got that. And then I found the gnome. The gnome. The gnome uh, ribbon. There's three different ones. I think there was only three different ones. I only bought three different ones. This one, the gnomes are standing upright. Really cute. Cute, cutie, cute, cute. 
And then there's this one. I'm trying to show this without the glitter, glare. That one is really cute as well. And then this one is just a little bit different and I bought two of them because this one was my favorite. I just want to show you the difference between the two. See, they're different. But I bought two of this one because I just loved it. Loved it. So, yep, I picked up a bunch of ribbon. I This stuff is like... I'm all over the place. I picked up this candle holder. I just really like the color and the, the splotches on it. I thought it would be really pretty with a candle in it. It would, these splotches would show up really nice. I only picked up one. Trying to, trying to reduce my intake of stuff. Stuff. Then I found these, which I... I found these in Saratoga as well. Look at these. It's like fake sand. It's like, not fake sand. I'm sure it's sand, but it's hard. And it's in these little, um, like, votive holders. And it's a little succulent. How cute is that? I got two. I got this one and I got that one. They were the only two that they had, not the only two in the store, but the only two varieties that they had. And I was like, oh my God, how summery and lovely are these? I have to have them. So I got those. Like I said, I'm all over the place. Picked up some more of the mini hand sanitizer to take on my trip. These are, uh, oh, these are four ounces. Can't have four ounces only have three ounces. Hmm, I'll have to put these in my suitcase. I'll have to put these in my suitcase and get smaller ones for my carry-on. I got those. These are uh, moisturized with vitamin E and aloe. Got those. I got um, this Bio Miracle uh, facial cleansing towelettes, aloe vera, moisturizing and soothing. You get 25 towelettes. This seems like it's, um, not a, it's not a Dollar Tree brand. It is biomedical brand. Uh, www.mybiomedical.com. If you want to look it up, no animal testing, no paraben, non-greasy for sensitive skin which I have, so yeah, I picked up two packages. And these were in the little baskets um, underneath all the makeup stuff. That's where I found those. And then I bought these claw clips. My hair's not long enough for these, but I thought they'd make nice um, gifts to add along in a gift. I got this claw clip. I love the color. They are very strong. I got this one and I got a black one. They're sort of like velvet looking, not velvet, but suede looking. They look like they're suede, but they're not. They're just plastic. I thought they would be really nice gifts. I bought a two pack of eyeglass cleaners. Usually you get one, but this one has the... Um, plum color and the orange. These are going to be great to keep in my purse because I'm always looking for something to clean my glasses with. Reusable pouch. Got those. Um, I got this wall cling for Jordan because I always find these things for Caroline and Madeline. But here's uh, the baby from Star Wars. Mandal Mandalorian. Mandalorian, whatever. He's a, a cutie little cutie patootie. So I got that for Jordan. That's got to go in his bag. What did I do with Madeline's stuff? Oh, dear Lord. Oh, it's over here. Uh, picked up some Crayola Silly Scents dough. Me and Caroline like to play Play-Doh. And here's Scented. Not that we need any more Play-Doh. 
Although, I hate when the Play-Doh gets mixed together because then it becomes another color. So I'm always like squeamish about mixing the colors together. But Caroline likes to mix those colors. So I've decided that I am just going to let it go because we have more Play-Doh than we know what to do with. And when she mixes them up, I'll just throw it away. And uh, we can start new with some fresh colors. So I got some scented Crayola dough. It's not real Play-Doh. Um, and this one is Silly Scents with a banana on it. So we got an apple, a banana, and a grape. I know she would like the purple Play-Doh. So I got those for us to play with. Then I found, finally found the little fox. This thing is so cute. What a cute, cutie, cute, cute. Um, little figurine and he's not quite sure what he's made of I'm sure it doesn't say never tells you anything you want to know but he's not ceramic and I don't think he's wood but how cute is he I thought maybe it was two different designs but no it's all there there's only one at least there wasn't my store just the one I, I had to find him and then you guys, well, I'll do that last. I'll do that last because there's a little bit of talking involved in that. I have a ton of uh, fall stuff, but I couldn't resist this green pumpkin with the leaves etched in it, with the gold stem. Couldn't resist it. I don't think I have anything like this from last year. So I grabbed that. And then these were new this year, the um, pine cones. They're flat on the bottom. They actually, I think, have a hole, but there's a tag covering it. And these are like glass. They're, they're silver, and there is this like, hmm, I don't know what color that is, but then there's a gold gold. This is like an orangish gold, but I picked these two colors. I didn't get them all. Really, really cute. Love them. Love, love them. I'm trying not to buy too much fall stuff because I really, really, really went nuts last fall. And, uh, but there are a few things I had to get, like these signs that say, Hello Pumpkin. I love how they're adding this blue color pumpkin to a lot of their fall stuff this year. Just another thing to get you, to get you to buy more. But it's those yard stakes. You can see that I'm trying to show the steak, but can you see it? And then I got the, of course, red truck gathered together. So I just got the two because I know these, this style was out last year. Whether I don't think this one was out. I'm pretty sure there was a red truck one, but I did get these last year and they are metal. So they will, they won't, uh, rust uh whatever get destroyed in the rain maybe they will because this part i think is paper but they'll last longer than those paper you know faux wood stakes that you put in the ground so i got those then i found see i'm all over the place here's another uh health and beauty thing i finally found these i was looking 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 for these when were they out easter time They were out around Easter time, and I finally found them. The wet and wild little sponges, makeup sponges, blah, 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 makeup sponges. And the packaging makes them look like carrots. I mean, they're just plain orange little sponges, but the packaging gets ya. They get you every time with the packaging. And I finally found them. I was like, what? Why are these out now? Scooped them up. There was only one, and I said, yep, thank you. Thank you very much, Saratoga Dollar Tree. Then I picked up this phone holder, which I saw it at first, and it says bike phone holder, right? And I was like, 
bike phone holder? Why would I, why would anybody want a bike phone holder? But then I looked at the pictures. There's your bike. What? You can put it on a grocery cart. You can put it on a baby stroller. And you just attach it to the handlebar or the handle of the grocery cart. And you can, you know, have your phone available to you while you're doing your grocery shopping or pushing your baby. Let me try and open this. No, it doesn't want to be opened. There's only a couple things left, so hang on, guys. It doesn't want to be opened. Let's figure this out. When I saw the shopping cart, I was like, oh my God. So look, there's the little round part. You put that, your shopping cart handle there. And, hmm, how do you do this? How do you do this? I don't know. I think, I don't know. But I'll figure it out and I'll show you later. As soon as I figure it out, I will show you later. But... You put like your phone, the top of your phone in here and the bottom of your phone in there. Hold your phone up and then somehow this little strap goes around the, oh, I bet it goes like that. But how does it stay there? Oh, because your phone is there. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out and I'll let you know. But how cool is that? You can put your, put that on your grocery cart. Um, if you have your list on your phone when you go grocery shopping, you can just have it right there on the cart and boop, boop, boop. Very cool. Like I said, it says bike phone holder. And I was like, bike phone holder? And I picked it up and I was like, oh, oh, wait, I ripped off the, oh, no, you can't see it now. But that's on a bike anyway, so it doesn't matter. I will have to figure it out. It's flexible for a secure... Oh, okay. Let me see. Hold on one second. Okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. This is the back, okay? There's the part that goes around. You put your little, you know, whatever in there. You slide this up the back... And there is a little hook here that you hook this on to hold it in place. See, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. Just a little persistence, my friends. Just a little persistence. Very cool. I'm going to try it out and let you know what I think of it. So, very cool. Bike phone holder for your grocery cart. Or for your baby carriage when you're pushing the baby around in the stroller. See, you got to look at every little thing in the Dollar Tree. Because they, they try to make you go right by it. Then I found this pot. This crock. I think it's a crock. Is that what you call it? But this thing is so heavy. And look at, look at this. It is by Plates and Beyond. And it's very heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. I have never seen this anywhere except for the Dollar Tree in Saratoga. They had a bunch of them. Great little crock. For making stuff in, you know, just the right size for one. Um, you could uh, make a hot dip in here and have a little flame under here. Because this is, I don't know what it's made out of. If it, is it ceramic? Possibly. I don't know. But really, really cool. Sorry if I'm like one of those people that are like, I, I got this. And then they wave it all around that you can't even snap a picture of it. I hate that. But really cool. And it's silver, like, on the top. I don't know if it's silver, but... No, it's white. Yeah, I think it is ceramic. Very, very nice, heavy. I'm really sad that I don't have my measurer here. I would say it's probably... 
about six inches around. That would be my guess. All right, but I just want to say I'm terrible at measurements, you know, estimating how big something is. So let me just put that out there. A couple more things and we'll be all done. Ooh, I found this lawn dart game for the kids. When they come over, we can play, um, do you remember jarts back in the day? They had the, the uh, metal point on them. I actually have my mother's from back when we were kids. I got it from her house when we sold her house. They banned those, stopped making them because they were a danger because people were getting jarts in the foot. But I thought this would be fun with the little girls because they're like a little bit weighted and they'd have fun with that. So we might play with this in the yard this weekend. A couple more things. I found this aluminum, tin, whatever, uh, metal corrugated plaque. And this is square. I'm so sorry I don't have my measuring uh, tape with me this time again. But again, I just thought this was really cool. You could put a sticker on here or um, Mod Podge on it. You can do all kinds of things. Paint it. Paint something on it. Very cool. I bought another cabinet lock because Evelyn gets in all of my cabinets. And I got another one to try to keep her out of. Uh, that cabinet over there that she's always getting into. So this will be on there before she gets here on Friday. And the last thing I bought was this pop dot, pop dot tape. Three size um, multi-pack. And I got it, I don't know why, because I haven't seen it before. And I thought, hmm, that could be interesting. I could use that for something. Oh, and the one thing that I that's in the thumbnail that I didn't show you guys, I found the whole collection of the farmer's calendars, the farmhouse calendars. I found the farmhouse with the pickup truck on it. And there's what the back looks like, all the different months. I've been on the hunt for these in every store. I got the Enjoy the Little Things, which I think is really pretty. And then it's got a bunch of really nice pictures with sayings that I thought would make nice um, gifts. You could frame it or Mod Podge it on something. So I got that one as well. I bought all five of them. I got the thankful, grateful, blessed with on the like uh, ship lap there. And then this is the back of that one. I got the farmer's market calendar. I'm obviously not going to keep all of these because what am I going to do with five calendars around the house? Some I can use for mod podging or whatever, but like this one, I think I might give away. It's not, you know, I don't know. And then I got the farmhouse one with the green wreath on the front. And there's the back of that one. And in all of my travels, in all of the stores that I went to, I was able Hang on, to pick up more to give away. I have three more of the truck calendars, which before anybody makes a comment and asks me for them, I am putting them in a giveaway. I really would love to give them to all of you that are looking for them, but I have to be fair about who I you know, how I give these away. I love for everybody to have one, but I really have to do that. I feel more fair about that. I got two more of this one. And I found one more of this one. I might have one of these again somewhere else. I thought I had another one of these.
but these are going in giveaways. So get send your cards in. Mail them in. Please. Um, it's not going to be this weekend because because it's not. I got the kids here, so I doubt I'm doing a giveaway. Something keeps rolling behind me. What is it? Oh, these books. So, hope you like this Dollar Tree haul. Hope you saw saw something you like. Um, yeah. So, on with the show. Um, yeah. Hope you had a good time here. I showed a lot of stuff. I hope as quick as I could. Um, and I have so much more to show you. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And don't forget to hit that bell. And make sure your bell is clicked too. Because I've heard of a lot of people saying, I don't know why I'm not getting your notices anymore. Sometimes whatever is happening with YouTube, your bell gets unclicked. So you don't want to miss an episode. I will be, I'm going to try to do some giveaways this weekend, but it's not going to be the calendars. I'm going to wait a little bit because I want to, I want to give everybody a chance that wants those calendars. So stay tuned, keep watching, have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.